Welcome to Art with Miss Anderson, and today we are going to talk about organic lime. Here's a great quote by a physicist. I actually have no idea who he is, but I kind of loved it. Physics has found no straight lines. Instead, the physical universe consists of only waves undulating back and forth, allowing for corrections and balance. R. Buckminster Fuller, and there's a little picture of him thinking very hard about physics. What I do love about the quote that he is making is that he is talking about the natural world, and physics is talking about trajectories or wavelengths in the natural world. Here is some artwork by Nestor Formentera. His name up there is a link if you would like to know more about him. Using a simple series of lines, he's tracing photographs and building up the lines as they start to curve around what is really an organic image, which is a couple kissing, see it kind of emerge right there, and hands holding. Question number one that you will answer in the text box is, Here's another piece by Nestor Formentera straight off his website. Really, really beautiful close up. Again, he's using a photograph to trace these lines over. When you look at the quality of his line, it's very fluid. It has a hand drawn quality. It doesn't have that look of being perfect or digitized or created by a machine. Here are some other examples of organic line art. I just want to reinforce that for your purposes, for what you are going to create, you can choose any kind of organic line art you want to reproduce. You're going to make five thumbnails of organic line art trying different kinds. Try the ones that seem to draw you in the most. Use the tutorials that are provided to try out all the different styles and techniques. Just a simple line drawing can have so much movement and flow. Here's some other examples. One looks as if it is a falling piece of fabric and the other looks as if it becomes swirling ocean waves. Watch this artist to get the technique of how to create one of these swirling, beautiful line drawings. Notice how the artist draws out big, bold sections before adding in those flowing detail lines. Feel free to do this with a pencil. In addition, as she draws the lines, they sort of join together. Here she's adding another little section as she kind of feels like it might fit or whatever look it is she wants. Joining the lines all the way to the end of the shape will appear to make the shape pop out more. When you go from one side to the other, they will appear to be stretched more.
include this tutorial in the pages links. The best way to learn this is to watch it and try it. I'm going to skip ahead to the end. I love here where she takes the thicker pen and adds in this weighted line, making giving it that little extra pop of definition, using, going right back over the line to smooth it out so it's not scratchy looking, so it's nice and smooth and fluid. Here are some works by Mele de la Iglesia. She says, connecting with nature and with your own representation of it is one of the most powerful feelings I know. Her lines are incredibly organic, falling into sort of darkness where she's filling in as if they're tied in knots, wrapping themselves around geometric forms. Here she's using color. One string goes to the next. Question number three in the text box. Compare and contrast the art of Mele de la Iglesia and Jelena de Lanco. What words describe the key differences between these two styles and these two artworks that you see here? They're both curved line. A curved line and organic line are not necessarily always the same. If organic line is something that might more be found in nature, then how is possibly the work of Jelena Delanco actually geometric? Take some time to think about this. Answer the questions to make sure you get credit for watching the slideshow. Then go to the pages section in Canvas and check out some tutorials on how to create organic free-flowing lines.